What's going on YouTube? Out in the shop getting ready to get my rod spooled up and rigged for a day of fishing tomorrow. Finally get some of that real cold weather now. Tomorrow's supposed to be in the 40s and raining. Not really sure how you boys gonna be able to handle that. But we're gonna tie up some rods and I'm just gonna kinda share with you guys what I'm fishing, why I'm fishing it, and see if it maybe helps you. Uh, but before we do that, we're gonna dig into this month's mystery tackle box. I'm gonna be honest with you, I already done took a peek inside. I already know what's in there. I almost always go to the mailbox, get my mystery tackle box out of the mailbox, and then I do my video and act like I haven't seen it. But it's time for me to come clean. I already know what's in the box before I do this video. I'm sorry, but this time I'm just really telling you about it because I can't wait. I'm not really, you don't think I'm really gonna wait until I do a video to actually see what's in the box. I'm always excited to see what's in there. So let's check it out. I've already opened it. You guys already know what it looks like. If you haven't already subscribed, you gotta be subscribing to Mystery Tackle Box. I mean, you need Mystery Tackle Box just like you need grocery stores in your hometown or just like you need a gas station. You gotta have it. You get free tackle all the time, every month. Well, it's not all the time, but at least once every month, they'll send you a box of tackle. And this is just good stuff. Look here, we got crankbaits in here. We got uh, chatterbaits. I mean, Dude, this is stuff that catches fish that we use all the time. Jigs, you never can have enough jigs. Fish hog jig. Uh, this is a pack of stickies, offset worm hook. You know, this stuff is really good. A little drop shot bait. I'm sure that'll be able to catch them too. And we got some uh, vial bugs from Biospawn. So, this is a great program. You can, uh, when you subscribe to Mystery Tackle Box, you're gonna get a lot of tackle sent to your house directly. So all you have to worry about is getting to the lake, finding time to go fishing, and not spending your time fumbling around on the internet, figuring out which baits you're gonna use. You know, I've learned a lot since I've subscribed to Mystery Tackle Box. I've tried baits that I would never try, um, but they sent them to me and they were interested and I tried them and I've caught so many fish using things that I would never use because Mystery Tackle Box sent them to me. So I highly suggest that you subscribe to uh, Mystery Tackle Box. It's definitely worth the money. You're gonna save a lot of money. And it makes fishing a lot more fun. What we're gonna do today is uh, we're gonna rig up some rods for uh, to do a little fall fishing. I'm going to a different lake. I know you know I do all my videos on Harwell. Well, I'm gonna go to a different lake, still right here at home, but a place that I don't fish that often. We're gonna go to Lake Russell which is probably the closest lake to my house. Not one of my favorite places to go, I'm just gonna be honest with you. But they're having a huge tournament at Lake Cartwell, and I just don't wanna fumble around with about 300 boats out there. So we're gonna to go to a different place tomorrow. It's gonna to be raining, and gonna be nasty, so and we're gonna see which one of these guys is gonna be most productive. Probably this one. So, first of all, I got a couple new rods and new reels that I'm gonna be using this week that, um, that I haven't used before. One of this, uh, this actually is same rod, I've been using this rod before, but um, I got a new Abu Garcia Pro Max that I'm gonna use. And so I'm gonna use that one. I've used that reel before, but this is just a brand new one that, uh, that they sent me. Of course, you guys know I use my six stick all the time, but I'm just gonna spool it up with some line here. And uh, I need to change that. A lot of my rods have bigger line on them. And I'll show you some of the baits that I'm gonna be using tomorrow that I that I got a good hunch is going to be good since uh, it's fall time most of the time we're talking about fall fish are feeding on shad so uh, I got some good baits from Carl's Bait and Tackle when you're talking about fall time fishing and fish are feeding on shad you know there's a couple baits that always work really well crankbaits, spinnerbaits, jerkbaits any of those shad imitators are always really awesome but I got one of my all-time favorites old school Bill Lewis rattle trap that I'm looking forward to throwing tomorrow so I got two different sizes I got a quarter ounce rattle trap, which you'll see here. Got my quarter ounce, and I also have a half ounce that I got from Carl's Bait and Tackle. And uh, we're just gonna tie these on 12 pound test line on a rod that we can kind of get that bait out there a long ways. Touch some of those schooling fish. Probably gonna see some schoolers because the water temperature is dipping really fast. Even though it's gonna be in the 40s, the water's still pretty hot. The water's probably still 78, 79 degrees but it's falling really fast. So that's gonna put those fish in a feeding frenzy. I'm looking to call a couple up on a trap tomorrow. Um, I also got a little crankbait here that I can use, you know, to throw around wood, lay downs, so forth like that. This is called the Hunch from Catch Co. 
looking forward to getting out there and fishing this guy as well. And you know, anytime, even though fish are feeding on, on small bait fish and so forth, you know, they never turn down a crawdad. So this is just a little crawfish pattern crankbait, a little shallow diving crankbait that I can use. If we get in some stained water, get around some wood, see if we can catch some fish on this. One thing I know for sure, if they're not biting anything else, they're going to bite the little half ounce or quarter ounce rattle trap. And uh, we got some, uh, this is like a flick shape type deal. We got a little jig head that I'm going to use on a spinning rod, kind of wacky rig. Uh, this is called a, it's like a flick shape, but this is called a flickety split from Ketchco. You see, it's just a small little, uh, it's like a split shot, drop shot type hook. A little weight on the head of it there. So we can use this to uh, to cast out there on some of these points, brush piles, let that guy flutter down. Pick out my favorite Z-Man plastic to put on that guy and see if we can get out there and catch some fish. So uh, let's get these rods rigged up and talk a little bit about the setups that we're going to use to fish uh, all these baits on. All right, so let's rig up one of our uh, rattle trap rods up here first. You know, what I like to use is 12 pound test anytime I'm throwing a trap quarter ounce or a half ounce unless I'm really trying to keep that bait down pretty deep. So I'm going to spool it up with 12 pound test in Vizex here and uh, what I'm using is I, I do tend to like a little bit longer rod when I'm uh, fishing a trap mainly because I can get a little extra distance on that guy you know when it's uh, when it's windy or if they, they come up schooling and I need to get that bait out there extra 10 yards, 15 yards, which is a big deal. That doesn't sound like a lot. But if you can get that bait out there extra 15, 20 foot, 20 yards, anything, anything that makes it easier for you to make a longer cast is always going to work in your favor. And the other thing I like about it, if I get a strike out there on a long cast, I can always catch up a lot of line really quick with one sweep of the rod. So I'm using a 7 foot 2 heavy action this is a favorite white bird this is like one of the best rods on the market for the money it's hard to beat the white bird when it comes to what you're going to get for what you're going to pay I mean for $49.99 you can't get anything there's socks out there more expensive than $49.99 so I got that paired up with the Revo X uh, Revo X series this whole combo is probably less than a hundred bucks here right around a hundred bucks Got that spooled up with 12 pound Invisex. And I think on this 7 foot 2 rod, I'm actually going to put, this might sound backwards, but I'm actually going to put the smaller trap on the longer rod. I'm going to have a 7 footer as well. I think I'm actually going to put my quarter ounce, which is the smaller rattle trap, on this 7.2. That being said, I'm thinking that a longer rod, small line, brand new bait caster, that's going to cast the smaller bait a lot better than if I had a shorter rod. Time to stare the Palomar knot on there. Wet it real good. Quarter ounce rattle trap, the original. No telling how many fish over my lifetime I've caught on a quarter and half ounce rattle trap. Dude, it just works, man. It works really all the time of the year. All the time of the year. Any time of the year, rattle trap catches them. I think the fall is when it really, really shines. Fall and really, it's really, really cold. Mainly in the fall because the fish are always feeding on shad in the fall. You can always count on it. Take that one to the bank. If you ever heard me say anything, that is one thing I'm pretty sure you can take to the bank is that they will hit a rattle trap in the fall because they eat shad. All right, so my second order of business is my half ounce rattle trap here. The old chrome and blue. When shall thou ever fail me? Never. Thou shall never fail me. The old chrome and blue original rattle trap. So... I think I'm actually going to put this on this rod here that I've got a jerk bait tied on. This is a seven foot four inch, uh, seven foot four inch six stick with the STX on it. I've already got this guy spooled up, so I don't need to put any extra line on it. But this is like a seven foot 
Uh, 7 foot 4 inch 12 pound test Seaguar and Vizex and that's probably a pretty fast reel. That's an 801 gear ratio reel there. So I'm going to take this jerk bait off of there that I had from the last trip and put old quarter ounce Bill Louie on there. See what's going to happen. So now we got two traps, two trap rods. That's a uh, half ounce there. The reason I always like to have two trap rods, believe it or not, that doesn't seem like that big of a difference between that trap and this trap. If you can see it good there between this one and that one. But I can tell you sometimes they definitely get off the half ounce and they want the quarter ounce better. So here's a little flickety split. You can see it's nothing but a little uh, flick shape style head here. Just uh, made to use wacky rig basically. So I'm going to take that guy and rig it with my favorite Z-Man soft plastic over here. So let's just go over to the wall and see which one is going to be right. So this is my wall of plastics here. It's got everything that I could possibly need when you're talking about soft plastics is on this wall from swim baits to chatterbait trailers to drop shot baits to stuff for smallmouth, stuff that we catch redfish on. All that stuff is on this wall right here. So, so one of my favorites is going to be definitely the finesse worms right here. We got a couple different colors in the finesse worms. You know, the hula stick is not, that's one you don't hear a lot of people talk about, but this guy works good. On a split shot of wacky rig as well and you know i've got a couple other different guys i usually use this guy on a drop shot you got the bigger seven inch finesse worms that you could use as well but probably overall my go-to is going to be the four inch finesse worms to rig this little flickety shake up i'm actually going to use one of my favorite braid of floral knots is the alberto knot and i'll leave a link in the description box for so you guys can see it a little closer but basically the Alberto knot is really easy I'm probably gonna have it finished by the time I finish talking to you here but it's simply just wrapping line around each other and you wrap it one way and then you turn around and wrap it back the other way towards a loop stick it back through the loop and then you cinch it down real carefully and that's it now, the reason I like this knot over a lot of the other knots, you know, people always talk about, well, the FG's this and this knot and the double uni and the, um, you know, the Chinese crescendo and all of this stuff. And that's cool, but I always tell people, I'm not real romantic about knots. The knot that you can tie the best is the best knot. So, maybe the FG is the best knot. But if you can't tie it real good, or if you can't tie it in 28 degree weather, um, that's going to be a bad knot. And an Alberto knot is one that I've really taught myself. That I spent a lot of time learning how to tie it. And my hands, it's just like second nature. So, that's why I tie an Alberto knot. So, what I'm using here is, I'll show you how I measure. So, this is my knot right here of uh for my braid to fluorocarbon how i measure my fluorocarbon leader is i actually take my line and i'll spread my hands as far as i can one time i'll spread it as far as i can one more time and that's how long my leader is so that is the length it ends up being about you know five and a half six foot long and that's what i'm going to use to tie my little flick shape my little flickety flickety split flickety shake on just going to tie that on with the Palomar knot. It's eighth ounce weight on this guy. Actually going to tie on the fatties. The fatties are going to be a great bait when you're fishing for suspended fish or you're fishing for fish probably 12 foot or less. Now, if I need to get that flick shape down on a little deeper, I'm probably going to use that finesse worms. That thinner profile has um, less resistance and that bait's going to sink a lot better with uh, the with the uh, finesse worms in it will with the fatty so that bait's going to get down there to the bottom and um, get down there to the strike zone a lot easier so there you go so if I want to use the little uh, finesse worms I do pretty much the same thing rig that guy towards the first third that just lets that bait kind of glide as it sinks instead of just fall like wacky worm I think this is a better choice if you're going to try to fish a little deeper, get that bait down, you know, 15, 20, 25, 30 foot like we'll have to do on Lake uh, Russell. I'll use this guy. If I'm fishing a little bit shallower, then I'm probably going to use the fatties. Or if I'm fishing 
you know, I could be fishing over deep water, but I'm noticing the fish are suspended or they're schooling. Something you don't hear a lot about, a lot about is throwing soft plastics when fish are schooling. They can't stand it, especially spotted bass. So, um, you know, I will use this guy if I need to keep the bait up a little higher. This is what we got rigged up for tomorrow. Soft plastic. We got two traps rigged up here. Got the quarter ounce trap. Half ounce trap. And you know... It's almost a guarantee there's some other baits that we can catch fish on because it's fall time. The fish are biting. You know, they just want to get out there and feed. So, of course, I'll experiment with some other stuff. But that's what we're going to be fishing. So, uh, next video you'll see will actually be me getting out there fishing these baits in the freezing cold and rain. So, all right, guys. So, that's a quick look at some of the baits that I'm going to be using tomorrow out there in the freezing cold. I'm sure it's I'm sure some of you guys would love to spend some time out there with me in 45 degree rain um, in October. It's pretty cold for October here in South Carolina, but I'm sure there's some fish to be caught because here's the thing, the water's still pretty warm, so those fish are going to be out there chomping at the bit, ready to do some damage. So I think it's going to be great. The next video you see will be me actually out there braving all these elements trying to catch a bass on there so hopefully you'll catch uh you'll learn something from that trip so uh make sure you keep checking back in with the channel see how that video goes for now i gotta clean up all this mess i don't think you guys are interested in watching me clean my shop or at least get this boat ready to uh to get out there and fish so right now we're gonna shut it down make sure you check back with the channel this video is gonna be really entertaining i promise you that